Oh, okay. Ooh, good morning, y'all. What is up? Devin and I about to get out and try and go catch some big fish. He's just got some cards cleared, cards formatted, batteries in the GoPro, and uh, yeah. Gonna grab the sunscreen, it's gonna get up to like mid 90s today. Get the tackle backpack, grab some baits, grab some combos, and we're gonna get after it. We just picked up a second stationary bike from a friend of ours until we get a rogue echo bike, which we are still on the hunt for. We found one that's three hours away, no, like four hours away, that we could go get. I think it's too bright out here for my filter. Um, but uh, yeah, we haven't decided to go pick that up or not yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the truck loaded. Let's go have some fun and get some big fish today. The best forecast app says it's a 9 out of 10 bite rating, so it could be good. Alright guys, we're here at the spot. Torrance met up with us. This is going to be a fun little day. We got five combos right here. Um, Torrance has got three or four himself. Just getting everything rigged up and ready. We're going to head to this pond right here. Try and catch us big. Decided to just take a few casts. There's like five bass down here. There's a big one over here. He's chilling out there on the outskirts. <laughs> Nuts. Ooh, that one out there. Oh, he's interested. You were getting uh, follows over here. Hey, it says you're FaceTiming me. I was just making sure you had your phone on you. Man, I am just creeping this Citizen 6 nice and slow. Trying to get on a swim bait bite today. That would be cool. Grab some stuff and I'm going to head to that corner. Guys, here's the dilemma. There's all this fry down here, like thousands of baby bass. And the mama is just, well, mom, dad, whoever, is just guarding them, but not aggressive. We're thinking we may have to try another spot, man. We've thrown everything at these bass, and they're just not hitting right now. I don't know if it's the time of day or if it is the pond, and they need another day or two before they start getting crazy, but they're not even protecting their young, it seems like, no matter what it is that we throw in there to agitate them. So... We'll see what's next on the agenda, but I think we're gonna have to make a move. Turtle on the turtle. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> oh, hey, how are you? Look at him. <laughs> oh, he just darted back into the grass. That was cool. Whoa, okay. Heck yeah, man, Torrance is putting us on the board. That's what I'm talking about, on the depths. Dude, look at that guy right there. Smoke that thing. That's Yo, so that is what's up. <laughs> That's uh, very similar to what we've been catching them on the last few days, man. In this spawn season, dude, the uh, bluegill swim baits, these hard baits are crushing it. And that, that one looks like it spawned out, huh? It just looks so skinny. Yeah, super just skinny. real skinny. He so. Was he, was, he was fired up when I cast it. Okay, so entirely different from the other area of the pond we just hit. My dude! <laughs> Have you caught one on that before? No, it's my first, first time, one. <laughs> I do like the, uh, like the, the head. When, when this thing's creeping in the water, Right there, that white little flash on the head, like they just see that coming. Uh, it looks deadly, dude. Yeah, that's and we can see it too, like from far out. You can see that. Yeah, you keep it's, your eyes yeah, on it. It's perfect, dude. That's sick. Fifty bucks. Here, let me. Fifty bucks, he said. Take a look at this. Let's on eBay. On eBay, if you can. On it. eBay, if you can find these things, which I'm sure you can. Ooh. Hell yeah. Well, Got us one. at least we can catch something, man. I'm gonna throw the big swim bait. I think Devin's throwing the jackal gantrail, so we might get a couple more here. Oh, he almost attacked this. Oh, he bit it. Well, guys, we decided to make a move because the bass were not hidden at all. And we got other ponds around here, but we wanted to grab a bite to eat. And there is three, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. There's about 20 cars in front of us to get Chick-fil-A right now at 1.13 in the afternoon on Wednesday <laughs> Wednesday the 8th about 90 degrees out here you guys but we're about to head to another pond where we think the bite might be ferocious there's a 9.1 rating on bass forecast I'm just confused as to what's going on but prime time is like starting right now apparently for the major bite time until like two hours from now so this next pond should produce and produce quite well nuggets are hot and ready Vanilla iced coffee, 30 count nuggets, pawns. Oh, 
Oh, damn, we had one. Bro, bites. Yeah, big. What's up? Hey, uh, <laughs> I just, I just had a bite here. <laughs> I just had hits in here. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Oh, uh, but I didn't get it, so probably a bluegill. Let's see it. Bye. Okay, on the full. This one might be halfway decent. There we go. There we go, about time, man. It's been a while. The chatterbait was just falling too. I didn't even uh, crank it, I don't think. Jeez. First one of the day for me. Dang, dude, how many hours we've we been at this? <laughs> Anyways, that's the first chunk. That one's actually still pretty plump. They're like, maybe pre-spawn here or just bulking up i don't know it's up to tell man but nice catch either way about time chatterbait black and blue just letting it fall cool catch that's funny kind of like a jig hit just hit it as it was falling all right guys we are calling it torrances out of here we caught only a couple fish today bass forecast says it was going to be an epic rating but it was kind of anything but we didn't get many hits uh, we got one decent fish. Mine was probably a fat two pounder, but nothing too crazy. I don't know if we're going to fish anymore today, but stay tuned. We just might. We're going to head home, let the dogs out, and uh, get some house activities and chores finished up. Maybe we'll get back out. Alrighty, ladies and gents, we actually have decided to come and pick up the kayaks. We're going to be going out tomorrow on Lake Texoma. I believe we have organized Brighton early. Haven't woken up as early as we're going to need to wake up tomorrow this entire quarantine. But it's gonna be a fun time. We're gonna go for striper. Let me put this seatbelt on. And I think once we get them back to the house, we might try and install some new flooring in the closet. So, and I think I had mentioned the hardwood floor project that we're working on in the closet. Devin has already ripped up the carpet. I'll go ahead and show you guys that in just a second, but we are grabbing these boards down from the attic real fast. Alright, let's see where we're at with this much. Welcome to our closet. This is something that we have been meaning to do for a while now. We ripped out all the carpet in the other bedrooms that originally had carpet in them and put the flooring down. We had an extra amount of flooring and this has been on our to-do list for a while now. Um, but while we're all quarantined in this COVID-19, I figured it is the best time to do so. So here is today's I don't know, five o'clock PM project. Who knows how long it's gonna take us to get done. So far we have taken out the carpet, obviously the padding and the baseboards all around it. So now I've got to go through and take out all of this wooden trim around it. Uh, besides that, we're gonna get this all cleaned up and then start putting the flooring down. All right, I just brought in the first round of boards. Obviously, this is the other side, but yeah. Oh, this might look like a disaster, but you know, we got the circular bladed saw in here since we don't have the official like floor cutting deal that we did the last time when we did the other bedrooms. And uh, we got the, yeah, we're getting started. We're getting started. Ooh, oh, no. I'm just out here wrapping up some editing and uh, let's see how the progress is coming in here. Zeke, you keeping tabs on things? Alexa, stop playing music. Bum, 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 bum. Halfway there. Halfway there. She's killing it. To be fair, I did like all the work when we did the bedrooms. So I was I told her I'm over these flooring projects. That was like a year and a half ago. That was it was a year and a half ago and I'm still over it. I said look, YouTube, watch two five minute videos, you'll have this thing done in five minutes. Three hours, but maybe an hour and a half. Perfect. Devin's wrapping up the flooring, you guys. I just got the video finished uh, for today's upload, which is not gonna be this video. This one will be afterwards. And I'm about to go hit another pond with Idel and try and get on some top water tonight. It was like 95 degrees today. We're thinking they might hit. I have to leave because sunset is in like 30 minutes and it's gonna be like a 10, 15 minute drive. Ah, oh, man, we just showed up. The main goal is top water, but I don't even know what I got tied on. I only got one reel with braid. 
and it's a left-handed bait caster. I've never even thrown a frog on a left-handed bait caster, so working the rod is going to be a bit different. Might even be better. We're about to learn some new things today. Let's see what we got here, man. Where's my braid? I'm going to take two swim baits, and then I'm going to take a top water setup, and that is going to be it. These are all tangled, too. Check me out. Time to shred. We gotta find a frog. All right, let's see what we got here. Where's the frogs? Here we go. Here we go. I don't even know which one to throw. We'll throw the white. Cut the tail feathers down. What do y'all think? I think we're gonna cut these tail feathers down just a little bit. Talk about a multi-purpose tool. Okie dokie. I think this is 30 pound braid. I don't even remember Palomar knot. I've had this suffix line on there for so long. It was lime green and look at it now. It's just like white, pale. On the spool it's still green because that doesn't get in the water as much and discolored. But there we go. Cinch down with the old cutters. Boom. All right, y'all. Jordan showed up. We got three frogs going. You're throwing a frog, right, Jordan? He did not hear the fucking thing I said. <laughs> oh! No! Oh! That was halfway decent, dude! Oh! <laughs> Yes! Nice, bro! Is your frog white belly or no? Yes, white belly. All right, we're making money moves. Adele putting it together. Last minute decision to come hit sunset top water. Nope. I think that's his second frog fish of 2020. I still have yet to catch one and Jordan just got a bite. So maybe I'm next or maybe I just don't have the skills to pay the bills. Oh, oh shit! But look at this swirl over here too. Dude, they're all over. Oh. You almost sank like the Titanic, bro. And I'm surprised you got his sandal back. <laughs> oh, you did. He's got him. <laughs> Adele's tearing him up. That one's bigger, huh? I got a cast to the right. What the hell? Boom. Got 14 snakes over here. Day and night. Look at that otter out there or something. That's a dang sea lion. No way. No way. Bro, cut it out. <laughs> You think so? I don't know. <laughs> you hyped that one up. He's little. <laughs> Adele has caught three and I've caught zero. What are you doing? I'm being patient. He's catching the same fish over and over. <laughs> I'm being patient. How long are you pausing? Oh, damn. Setting records out here, boy on how many fish I haven't caught. I'm over the top water. Oh, okay. Gantrell Jr. Oh, he came off. I think he came off. Please smoke the bluegill, y'all. Wow. It was a little one. This guy, I mean, he goes a little subsurface. I just assume by the time I get to the grass, my chance is ruined anyways. Man, we've been filming so much. I forgot that day, I guess, to let y'all know that I was done fishing that night or tell you that I'm back at the house. So this is me saying I'm back at the house and we're gonna finish up this vlog now. Probably why I forgot actually is because I had just taken the GoPro and left Devin with the big camera to cover more of the flooring install that she was working on. So here's that. Okay guys, so let me show you the progress and I believe I have come to a stopping point. Um, I'm pretty much done with the entire floor except for this, um, I don't know, three and a half, four inch section here. Uh, I've been in here laying the floors for probably about the past two and a half hours. But let me get it all cleaned up and I'll do a little run through on the floor and what it looks like after it's all cleaned up. All right guys, so here we have it. I gotta do the baseboards, get those done, but until then, here in the next couple days, I'm gonna do those baseboards and go ahead and get that transition piece from the tile to the wood, like I said. And so I will go ahead and show you an update whenever everything's fully done and finished up on the floors, in the closet, during the coronavirus quarantine projects. Go ahead and comment and let us know what projects you guys are working on at home while you're stuck in this quarantine as well. We'd definitely be interested to hear. All right, until then guys, see you later. <gasps>